In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how we have just made a lower high and the potential chances of a higher high. Is that going to be in the near future? Let's find out. If you would like anything to do with cryptocurrency trading and making money with cryptocurrency, my name is Joey and you should definitely consider subscribing to this channel because that is what I talk about. So we'll get straight into the video. So as I said in the intro, we have just made a lower high. Is it possible that we are going to make a higher high? We are right here on the weekly chart of Bitfinex of obviously Bitcoin because that is what this video is about. You can see here, we just made that lower low and it was a very nice swing. We came, swung straight into it, then made this and then we swung straight out of it. That is a very good sign that that was a low right there. And the exact same thing happened right here. You can see that we came down, made the low, and then we swung straight out of it and had a very good push to the upside. So potentially that right there is our next lower high. So now we do have to actually break above this level right here, which is 43.84. Now potentially we have to be coming up solidly up here to make it valid to be a higher high and signal a very nice bull run. I do believe if we get above 4,384, we could potentially see some very good rises up to maybe in the mid 5,000s. And let's just go into the daily. We're gonna work slowly down the chart from the day to the four hour and I'll be showing you my reasons what is going to be happening. So that is the weekly. If we can confirm that this was a higher low, sorry, we obviously are gonna to have to wait for six more days to see when this candle closes and see where it exactly closes. So it opened right here at the 37.40, but it is right now at 36.63. So we still have six days left of this candle to see if it's gonna be shooting up or shooting down. Whether it goes up or down, it just has to stay above this level right here, which is the 34.22 to consider this being higher low. And if it does manage to break below that, then we have to try and hold it between 32.15, otherwise it is going to invalidate this higher low. So we're gonna go into the daily chart right now and all of our funny looking drawings are going to stay there. And let's just have a look at some in indicators. We can see on the oscillators, we are looking bearish on the stock RSI. We are above the 50 level of the RSI, which is a good sign if we can manage to stay above it. I do believe there will be some support here on the RSI because you guys do know that I do like to see that there are potential supports and resistance on the RSI and the RSI is very good to see that. And then on the MACD, we have actually made a lower high on the bar chart, which you can see right there, but we are still in the negative territory. We, if we can potentially bring it upwards, that will be very nice. We are facing very stiff resistance right here at the 50 day moving average. So if we can potentially break above that, then we can see a quick shot up straight up to the 100 day. But what we do wanna see is a nice surge straight through it. So we do want to see it actually come up like it did just here on this candle there. You can see it made resistance, 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 then boom, just blew straight through and then quickly just got rejected straight back through a couple of days later. So we do want to see a very nice candle breaking straight through the 50 day EMA to call a validation to go straight up into the 100 day. If we do manage to break above the 50 day, we are going to face some more stiff resistance at the 100 day, which is right there at 41.35. And we are going to need to blow above that again so we can actually break this line to see a higher high and potentially signal a bull run and a change of trend. So our trend right now is looking somewhat like this. I'm just going to extend it out like that. And then we are coming obviously down in the wedge like this, which you will see on my next chart. And short term right now, let's go into the four hour and you will see all of my drawings right now, what is happening. There is this bull flag, which potentially is quite invalidated if you kind of rearrange that to be the proper bull flag sort of thing, or like that. You can see that we did try and actually break out of it right there and we are trying to break below right there, but we are trying to actually 
stay within the bear flag. So there is a potential upside right here if we can manage to close and then the next candle obviously close above as well. We will see the price action come up to this 3900 levels but if we do fall below the levels you should be watching will be here at around 3512 that will be where a heavy support will if we break through there the levels we are at right now we are facing some support so if we do fall below this then i do believe this will be some support right there at 3571 and if we do fall below that there will be even more support around here most likely because that's going to happen over the next few days maybe a week or so and it will end up connecting with this trend line right there so i would be watching these levels just here that is 36.52 right where we pretty much are 35.71 and 35.12 so if we do manage to break below them then i do believe we will be going lower and you can take quick little shorts or maybe some longs in between these levels right there but if we do manage to break above here, then we will be seeing it to the upside. Another thing that I did actually forget to mention was the EMAs. We are actually on the daily. We have actually broken above the 9.14.21. You can see that we are now ranging between, which is very good to see. We do need to see these obviously come up and then break over the 55 day to signal a bull run because the EMAs are a very good way to signal trends and everything like that but pretty much my total analysis is quite neutral right now i am going to be staying on the sidelines to see whether we break above this bull flag or below it if we do break above the targets that i will obviously be looking out for we will probably face some resistance maybe i'm going to say around there at 38.22 and then our next will obviously be this down trend line of the wedge that we were in which obviously this asymmetric wedge right here or triangle, whatever you want to call it, is actually a continuation of the trend. So if we do break below this line, I do believe that we will be going lower, but I do think there is higher chances to break out because you can see we have support here and support here. So there's only two things of support and this resistance line is getting weaker because we have one, two, three, four, five points of contact. So the sixth will most likely be very weak and when next time we get to that point, if we break out the slightest, then lots of bulls and buyers will be coming straight in around there to push the price up to here to see some resistance and to there, hopefully to make a higher high. Then we do need to obviously close above that level and signal a bull run. Now this chart is getting <laughs> messy as shit. I am very sorry for that, but that is all for today's video. So pretty much neutral on Bitcoin and what is happening so I will be keeping you guys updated tomorrow and the next day, every other day. So if you do want to keep up to date with what is happening with Bitcoin, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video if you enjoyed it, and let me know in the comment section below what you were trading and how you were doing trading, how long you've been trading for, or anything in regards to Bitcoin. I would love to answer it, and I hope to see you all tomorrow. Peace out.